Hey, what's up you guys? Hi, I'm Quentin 245. Welcome back to GSA. And as you see, I'm in a somewhat different location. There's no more shirts behind me. Um, actually, me and Minecraft Nerd 2233, me and him, we flip flop rooms. So now I have this gigantic room. So behind me, of course, I took pieces of cross up, made them into a rainbow. Hope you guys like this instead. Because, um, if you guys see, there's no more loft. Um, my couch is right behind me. My bed is here. My bed is, like, right there. So, yeah. Um, so, behind the camera is my Sonic, the Sonic 1245 wall and all that other stuff. And then, then that wall to, um, and then, then next to that is my door. And then right there, right, the wall that's on, the wall that's connected to my closet is my Cody Comments wall, which there's a poster of One Direction there, and there, there's a picture of Justin, there's my collage, my Nikki thing is there, um, um, the gay and the bear upside down crosses, and then the thing you can't see is, um, gays, okay, just as you can say, I don't think I've ever showed that in the video, but, um, I am actually very far from the camera right now, um, yeah, um, I was thinking about sitting on my couch, but I was thinking if I sit on my couch, I will sink in, and you guys will only see, like, the top of my face, and you guys need to see the shirt. So, um, today is Monday, uh, all last week I decided, uh, all last week, um, I didn't shoot a video because, I'm um, busy with moving and all that stuff, um, so I thought, so two videos for you guys this week, so two videos of each day, so two videos for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for you guys, just for a special little treat, because I don't really do this very often. I think I might do that, I might just do two videos so we can get done with stories, but, um, that might change, but... Um, it is literally July, and I do, and it is July 18th, I think. Yeah. So, um, chapter 28 of my stepbrother, um, oh, what am I doing? I need to read the, the paragraph of the chapter 4, and I'm actually reading this all off my laptop, because I've watched, um, I actually watched, um, a lot of my old videos, and I found out when I'm reading on my phone, I enunciate into the phone and not to the camera. So you guys can't really hear me. You have to turn up your volume all the way, but a lot of people don't do that because the music is pretty loud. Okay, so... Hmm. Okay, so this is, um, I think Trace said this. Tomorrow let's hang out with Zeke and his new boyfriend. He mumbled sleeplessly. Sure, I said and kissed his forehead. He slowly fell asleep, and I continued to rub my hand through his hair, but my thoughts were troubled. I didn't know why, but I, uh, but I had a really bad feeling about hanging out with Zeke tomorrow. Alright, chapter 28 of My Stepbrother. I don't know why these don't have names, but... <clears throat> Zeke's point of view. Ring, ring, Dad, stop snoring, I groaned. Zeke, my snoring does not sound like that, Dad called back. Ring, ring. I pulled the pillow over my head and groaned again as I heard my dad answer the phone. Sweet Jesus, who who the hell invented noise? Whoever it was, it deserves to die. Whoever they were, they deserve to die. I'm pretty sure George Washington invented noise, or maybe he invented electricity. Wait, you know what? I was planning to be a history teacher anyways. Yep, I'll put you on the phone with him. He, he's still in bed, though, so he'd probably be a little pissy and disoriented. Dad's voice said coming up the stairs, Oh, God, no, I did not want to talk to talk, talk on the phone. Please tell me there was another man in the house besides, my, besides me and my dad. Maybe my mom grew a dick overnight or something. I don't know. I just don't want to freaking wake up. Dad, shake me violently. Zeke, get up. It's Trace, he said. I swatted my hand weakly at him. Couldn't he see I was busy? Dad sighed and yanked me up into the same position. He grabbed my hand and curled my fingers around the phone, bringing it up to my ear. Wake up, Zeke, he shouted in my ear. I winced and smiled, smiled and ruffled my hair before leaving my bedroom with a wink. Ah, jerk. You better be dying. Dead or zombified, Trace, I growled. Shut up, Zeke. Corey and I want to hang out with you and Tommy today. A double date kind of thing, I guess. He said, and I imagined him shrugging. At the sound of Corey's name, I instantly brightened. Sure, I'll call Tommy. Where do you want to meet up? Oh, how did things go? How did things with your parents go? I asked. Pick a, 
pick up Tommy and come to my house. I'll take us to the movies or something, and I'll tell you everything uh, when we get food, okay? You know Corey, he'll want food sometime during during the state thing, he said. I nodded, smiling a little. Yeah, 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 I'll call Tom. Yeah, I'll call... Uh, yeah, 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 I'll call Tommy up and be at your house within a half an hour, Trace. I said... Okay, he rumbled and hung the phone up. I rolled my eyes and set the phone down. It's cool, Trace. Don't say goodbye or anything, I said sarcastically, rubbing the sleep out of my eyes and jumping up. I turned on my cell phone and saw I had two missed calls from Trace. He was... He was my best freaking friend, and... Didn't he know by now I don't wake up this freaking early? <laughs> he turns his phone off. I never turn... I only turn my phone off when I want to, but I never do. I just put it on silent or vibrate. I put on silent yesterday because I was at a funeral, but, um, I turned it back on vibrating and I just turned my phone back on, but I never turn it off. I always charge it when I sleep. I dialed, I dialed Tommy's number and smiled a little when his sleepy voice answered. Hey, Zeke, what's up? He asked and yawned. Want to go on a double date with, with Trace and Corey today, I asked. Sure, sounds great, he said. Cool, I'll swing by... I'll swing by and pick you up in 10 minutes. I said, he agreed, and we said bye before hanging up, because, you know, normal people say goodbye. They don't just hang up. That's that's the rude thing to do. Trace was being very... Trace was a very rude boy. He's more of a teenager, I think. I threw on some clothes and fixed my hair before grabbing my wallet and car keys and hang downstairs. I poked my hand to the kitchen. Bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. I'm going out with Tommy, Trace, and Corey. I said, I'll probably get back late. My mom mumbled let me something that was either by Zeke or Fly Geek. I was gonna go with the first one. Bye Zeke, have fun, my dad said, smiling with the way waving at me. Okay, he has a car. I don't even have a car. I'm 18. Well, I can't drive yet, so whatever. I left the house and pulled into Tommy's driveway a few minutes later. Sammy was outside taking practice shots on their basketball hoop. He waved to me as Tommy came out of the house and got in the car. I waved back and pulled out of the driveway, heading in the direction of Trace's house. Hey Zeke, Tommy said with a small smile. Hi Tommy. I said, return with a smile. Yes, I was in love with Corey deeply. I was in love with Corey, deeply in love with Corey. But but he was with But he was in love with Trace. And I just wanted him to be happy. So I was gonna try to make a move on. I was gonna try and and move on with Tommy before I messed up their relationship and hurt the boy I loved and my best friend. I didn't want to do that. Hey Zeke, was that the th Hey Zeke, what's the farthest you went with Corey? Tommy asked after a moment of, of comfortable silence. Just make out why, I asked. You love him. I can tell the way you look at him. The way you were looking at him. He said with a shrug. Sorry, my brother's messed with him. I sigh and took and shook my head. No, it's okay, Tommy. It's not like you told him to. And I'm trying to get over Corey. I don't want to become... I don't want to come between him and Trace. I snapped my mouth shut, really, and I probably just hurt Tommy's feeling. Tommy shrugged again. Hey, I understand, and I can read you, Zeke. I don't feel... I don't feel you. So relaxed. So relaxed, he said with a slight smile. He pulled into Trace's driveway and got out of the car. Tommy came over to me and took my hand in his, glancing... Glancing at me to make sure I was okay with it. I gave him a smile and squeezed his hand. I rang the doorbell and Brenda answered and smiled and us in. They're just arguing over some stupid stuff. I don't know. Go break them up before they kill each other, he said with a sigh, shaking head. Tommy and I went upstairs and I let myself into Zeke's room, raising an eyebrow at the situation. Trace had Corey pinned to the floor, Corey trying to hold something away from him. It's mine. Mine. M I N E. Corey cried furiously, sticking his tongue on Trace. Corey, you will give me my damn cell phone already. Trace demanded an annoyance. But I can read him easily. He wasn't annoying at all with Corey. He was he was in he was entertained and amusing with him. There was also that look in his eyes that he that said he loved Corey deeply. I for I forced away my jealousy. Trace was a bastard, but I don't think he would hurt Corey. If he was going to hurt Corey, he would have he would have come out to everyone. He wouldn't have kept their relationship a secret. 
I will if you kiss me, Cory taunted with a smirk. Trey sighed and leaned down, pressing his lips to Cory. Cory deepened the kiss eagerly and allowed Trey to stun I have the weirdest boner right now, Tor Tommy and Helen. <laughs> Trace and Corey jumped away from each other and blushed. Uh, I didn't see you guys there. Damn it, Zeke. Fucking knock, Trace said. I love that. I love Tommy's thing. I have the weirdest boner right now, Tommy and Helen. Oh my god, that's too funny. Well, hello to you too! I sat with an amused smile. Corey jumped and rushed over to me. I caught him as he jumped into my arms and glanced at Trace, sticking his tongue out again. He's being mean to me, Corey whined. Not my problem, I said, and laughed as he pouted deeply. But Zeke, he's being mean, he whined loudly. Hey, oh, Dory, or whatever, Zeke's my boy. Tommy said calmly. My name is Corey. Dory was the retarded fish finding Nemo. Corey helped as he jumped out of my arms and went over to Trace. So, I was close, Dory. Corey. So I was close. Dory, Corey, retarded fish, retarded human. Eh. Tommy said with a shrug. Trace and I snickered, and Corey grumbled something about chainsaw and hot sauce. Well, alright then. Let's just head out now. I don't feel like a movie, and I don't think Corey could sit through one, so I'm just gonna surprise all of you. Trace said, and we all left to head out to the hell of the car. Corey's point of view. My eyes were so freaking cool. Your eyes are so freaking cool, I cried, staring in Tommy's eyes, and Trace drove us wherever he was taking us. Thanks, Tommy said. Are you high? I asked curiously. Tommy shook his head, and Zeke watched. And Zeke watched, looking amused. He took Tommy's hand in his own. Hey, Tommy, are you? F you have freaking cool eyes. I have. I ever told you that? Yeah, Corey, you just did. Oh well, they're freaking cool. Just in case you didn't know. I think I got the point the first time, but thanks again. I guess. I continued to stare into his eyes, but they didn't seem creeped out like most people would. Tommy seemed like a really calm and relaxed kind of person. But his freaking eyes, they were a mix of gold and purple. They were cool in an almost creepy way. But I didn't freaking care. They were so, so gurple. Or pound. Hmm. Are your eyes gurple or pound? I asked, trying to figure out what color they were. And you asked me if I was high. He said, shaking his head. Corey, stop annoying Tommy before I kick you out of the car, Trace growled. And I pawned, turned around in my seat, crossing my arms and glaring at Trace. You're just jealous that you don't have cool eyes. I mean, yours are nice, and I liked looking into them before I shot a load in your mouth. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh! <laughs> I thought was actually in the story. I just said that out loud, didn't I? I didn't mean to. I meant, uh, your eyes are beautiful, Trace. Tra Zeke exploded into laughter as Trace sighed and shook his head. I turned, my face to I turned to face Tommy and Zeke. Zeke had tears squirting out of his eyes, and and even Tommy relaxed expression, and had shifted into a slight amused one. Oh my God, Trace, you sucked, Corey. Zeke asked and and burst into a flesh round of laughter. Oh, that's freaking priceless! I bet Corey took it out of the took it out of the ass, huh? At my bush, he clutched his stomach and buried his head into Tommy's chest, rocking. Rocking with his furious laughter, Tommy slung her arm around him and glanced at me with a knowing look. I turned around, blushing, mumbly, and mumbled, "Shut up!" to them. Trace took my hand and leaned over, kissing me deeply. "Hey, whatever," he said, uh, with one of with one of his. Trace smiles. Zeke's just jealous that he's a virgin. I said, smirking at him, and he flipped me off with a pouch. Shut up, maybe I like being a virgin, he whined. Yeah, maybe I fucked Will Smith last night, I said with a raised eyebrow at him, smirking even, even wider. Ayo, Zeke, if you don't want if if you don't want your virginity anymore, I'll take it, Tommy offered. Zeke blushed and I grinned and I turned back in my seat. Trace, where are we going? I asked, feeling the need to get out of the car and run around. Man, I wasn't made to sit. I it was so weird because both of my parents had been really calm people. My dad was lazy ass, usually when he was heinous, and heinous and my mom was generally lazy ass unless she was doing morning run or gardening outside. Where's my personality traits I had to come from? Well, hell if I knew. We're going to the land of shut the fuck up, Corey, Trace said. 
Oh, that wasn't very nice, I said with the wrong. Trace shrugged and pulled into a parking lot. I glanced at Mr. Wiley. Trace, do you know why you... Do you know where we fucking are? I asked him. I asked him to say, because I don't. Trace rolled his eyes and got out of the car. I copied him along with Zeke and Tommy. I began to jump up and down, happy to be in a metal death trap they call the car. Easy, Corey, Zeke said, laughing and putting his hands on my shoulders, trying to hold me down. Ha! It wouldn't never. It would have never worked. Trace grabbed my hand and nicked me away from Zeke's grip somewhat roughly. I frowned, but Trace ignored and dragged me inside the building with Zeke and Tommy. What is the mind flicker? I asked, amazed once we were inside. I looked around and Trace rolled his eyes. Corey, we call it laser tagging. Do you even... Do, you, do I even need to spell it for you? I asked sarcastically as he dragged me over to play. Yeah, laser tagging. I cheered as Trace led me through a room with different colored steps. I sat down on the blue one and Trace came and sat next to me. I shoved his legs and... I shoved his legs, and he stumbled back, Zeke catching him before he fell. He looked at me in annoyance confusion. Zeke's on my team. It's boyfriends against boyfriends. I said with an evil smirk. Trace sighed, but Tommy went over and sat on the red step. Zeke sat next to me, and we looked around. It was hard. There was hardly anyone here. Oh well, all the better. A man came in and explained the rules before letting us get up and get our vets and guns. Zeke and I stood together on the blue entrance until the lights went out and everyone took off into the battlefield. Let's sit together and cover each other. Zeke whispered and crept around searching for a red vest. I spotted one and shot until the color went out. Yeah, bitch, don't mess with Corey Arnold Sanders, I cheer. Corey, Trace's annoying voice, yelled and crackled evilly. Corey, come on, we have 30 seconds before the guns work again. Let's go find Tommy. Zeke said and dragged me around the corner in the sight of Trace before his vest lit up again. We crept around shooting red vests. When we saw them, my vest suddenly went out and I had whipped around just to see a red vest ducking. But the light had but the light had made Tommy freaking cool eyes stand up before he had ducked out of the, ducked out of sight. Zeke took off shooting at him. Hey, what happened to stick together? I called Pine and disappearing to chase Tommy. My vest slipped back up and I was instantly shot again and let an annoying whine as I heard Trace sticker from somewhere behind me. I took off right towards the sound of the snicker. I spot him and shot him as soon as my vest lit up again. His vest went out and he came over to me, cupping my face in his hands, kissing me deeply. I'm gonna shoot you when your vest comes back on. I have about 20 seconds left to kiss you, he mumbled. Against my lips before, bringing them back to contact. You can do a lot in 20 seconds, I gasped when I pulled away from me. He smirked and shot me just as my vest lit back up. I thought, you cheat. You're a cheater. I'm out. I cried and turned to run. I had Trace chasing me, and I ran faster, knowing, knowing that unless he had a, sh a shaped soccer player, that I was out of shape, Corey. A light suddenly turned on, and all the vests went out. Someone voice cried to the speaker, and nothing we need to exit the game was over. Trace took my hand, and we left together, taking our vests off and leaving them with our guns. We met back up, and Zeke and Tommy, who Zeke and Tommy, Zeke blushed. Sorry, I got distracted, he mumbled. Tori, Tommy's lipstick is on you, I said. Zeke eyes white and rubbed his neck furiously before getting confused. Getting confused. Tommy's not wearing lipstick. Oh, you're an asshole. I laughed and hid behind Trace before Zeke could kill me. Ha, huh, so Trace and I weren't the only ones sucking neck. Well, actually, Trace sucked my neck. I had never sucked his. But still. Woo, go Tommy. You're, you, you and your freaking cool eyes. How far am I? Twenty-one minutes. Oh my God! Wow. <clears throat> we left the legendary place and got back in the car. Trace drove us to a restaurant and first found out I was gay at. A waiter seated us and took our food orders before leaving us alone with yummy bread. With the yummy bread, Zeke and I sat next to each other and our boyfriend sitting across from us. Trace took my hand over the table, over the table, and his thumb traced circles over my skin. He leaned over and pressed his lips to mine, gently. I smiled, turned to Zeke and Tommy. You two need to kiss, I command. Zeke blushed. Well, um, we're not official dating yet, he babbled nervously. 
Screw that. Be my boyfriend, Zeke. Tommy said with the shark grabbing Zeke's hand over the table. Well, if you insist. Zeke said with a wink. Tommy leaned over the table and pressed his lips. Zeke, I clap out and let a whistle. Yeah, get some lip action, Zeke, I cheered. Zeke smacked my arm playfully once I had pulled away from Tommy. I looked over and saw Trace looked relaxed. Huh, what was up with that? We ain't got back in Trace's car, but then it had gone dark out. Well, that was fun, I said with the loud tire yawn. Yeah, it was, Trace confirmed, and Zeke and Tommy nodded in agreement. And we got back home. Tommy said goodbye before getting in Zeke's car and leaving. Corey, I love you, Trace said, wrapping his arms around me and kissing me deeply. Trace, I love you too. As if the smile resting my head on his shoulder, he held me tightly and we rocked together in the driveway for a few minutes until the light rain had begun to fall. Trace leaned down and kissed me again. He took my hand in his and gave me an actual smile. I think it was the first time I've actually seen Trace give an actual authentic smile. It made me fall even more deeply in love with him, and I crashed my lips onto his, flailing my arms around his neck. He, play he placed his hands on my hips and licked my bottom lip. I granted his tongue entrance into my mouth. Well, that was some romantic shit, but it's rain. You're gonna catch a... You're gonna catch your death. Funerals are expensive, you know. Mom. Mom! I groaned and pulled away from Trey as he rolled his eyes and took my hand in his, pulling me inside and passed my grinding, my grinning mother. Evil, I hissed and stuck up my tongue at her. We began to head up the stairs. Trace, Trace kissed me and hop, Trace kissed me and I hopped on his back. Too lazy to even climb the remaining six steps up to Trace's bedroom. Boys, sleep in your own room, please. Mom, I groaned again and Trace snickered and carried me into my bedroom. He dropped me on my bed and pressed his lips to mine for a rough kiss. Good night, Corey. I love you. He said he gave me a slight smile before leaving my bedroom. Happy I let myself fall asleep. Author's note, do you guys want a Zeke Tommy spin-off story? The beginning of this chapter was just a little taste of what the spin-off would be like if I write it. And of course, Trace and Corey will be sprinkled in, so let me know if you want to. But the story isn't done yet, so keep commenting and vote. And vote's coming. So yeah, that's it. This video is, I think, 24 minutes, so... Bye, guys. Gay is okay. Just ask the GSA. Mwah.